All right, lovely people of the internet. This is Digicom. You welcome back to my channel. I actually come across this device again from the same company that I did review two of their products. Let's just go through this and see what we have in this package. So today we're gonna to be looking at this Fantic S100 Mix. It's another device from this company called Fantech. This is a cordless handed vacuum cleaner. I don't care about how fancy a vacuum may look. The only thing that anybody should be concerned about when you are buying a vacuum handed or whatever, if the suction is suck, the vacuum is suck, suck. I think you get it right. Even though I don't expect much from this, can this still live up to standard? Let's see what we have. This is a nice, you know, carrying pouch. Kind of like a counter fabric. Then you have paperwork if it's something you are interested in. If this is something you are concerned about or interests you, this product is made in China. So right off the bat, you need to understand that this vacuum is two in one. This is a vacuum, also it's also a blower. If you need to blow any little thing, not anything massive, you can use this vacuum as a blower. So it's more or less like two in one. So I'm gonna be going through this one after another, all right? So we have the vacuum itself and it's lightweight. According to the manufacturer, this device is a brushless motor, all right? I'm gonna be going through the attachment according to the package that we have here. So you have the vacuum cleaner body. There's called uh, Crefice nozzle. Then you have a multi-surface brush. You have your cleaning brush. You have this one, which is going to be a multifunction air blower. Then you have this one, which is a short blow nozzle. You have this one, which is the longest one, and that is your long blow nozzle. Then this little one is going to be a blow nozzle brush. And the last one is a push in brush okay and those are the attachments that you have with this device at the top right here that's where you have your led for you to turn it on this is the trigger where you turn it on down here so you press and hold it down until you have your led light up here and the led is going to give you your the led will give you battery uh, the percentage you have on the battery will show on the LED. Then it's going to give you cycle of what you have. So you have to uh, suction power, and I think the suction power is 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 good enough. The four attachments you have here is going to be for your suction. I mean for your blowing, and this attachment right here will be for suction. So here at the top, you can press this. You move this way, then you press it down to release this. And this is how you were able to, you know, release all the dirt that you have sucked in here, okay? Inside is where you have your filter. And to remove the filter, there's a mark here that show you lock and unlock. You just twist to unlock. Once you twist that to unlock, you take it out. So you'll be able to access the filter by lifting this ring up and uh, you'll be able to get the filter out. You can rinse this, wash it, whatever you want to do with it. And I believe this is replaceable. There's a gasket here that kind of seal it up. So there's no need for you to twist this when you're putting it back in. Just push and let it go. So once you're done removing all the dirt or clean your filter, all you have to do, there's a yellow dot right here. You line that yellow to the unlock image right here once you line up like so then you twist the lock from there you can put your attachment if you desire and if you are removing the attachment do not hold it here before you remove it is recommended that you hold it here then you remove the attachment you can put this also to clean a wide area and hold it this way and take it out those will be for the suction okay so how do you use the blower the blower is coming from the back when you use this as a suction it suck in here and at the back it releases the hair so if you look at the back i can attach all this like so you see so it's suctioning it's blowing out it's two in one 
But before you can use this, it is recommended that you remove this part so that you will only have this part, all right? So you have to twist and remove. Now you have your blower. And the same way you press from the back here to blow anything. So inside this glass is a couple of cereal grain that I have. So we're going to try if this suck it up, then it's going to be good for me, all right? If this can suck this up, then it's good. So I'll put this attachment just for this little attachment, like so, then I can put some of them on the table. All right, so let's see if this is going to make sense. If this suck this thing up, then it's good. So I'm gonna use the lowest for now. So this is the lowest, and let's see if it's going to suck it up. It should be able to like pick it up. And I believe that um, this is, I mean, for me, the suction is good enough for what I will need this for, okay? That's good enough. So I'm gonna try the blow side to see if this can, it's gonna be able to blow things away. So let's see. All right, so. Right now I'm gonna let you know what I think about this device, okay? This is, this device will be really nice putting in the car. If you're buying one, I think most people that will be buying this will be that they want it in their car. Probably those with a lot of kids, just to pick their, you know, food remnant, things like that. But I need to say this that, with the suction power, like I said, it's not the best, but it's okay. This may not be able to pick something maybe after one or two weeks of food remnant. You may not be able to pick it with this. Even most um, vacuum, we may not be able to pick them up. So it is advisable that clean after your kids, immediately they leave your car, try and clean after them. The accessory, I like the accessory for me because this will help you to reach that hard to reach corner. This is going to do a light duty if you're buying it for your car. It's going to be for light duty. If you need heavy vacuuming, you may have to take your car to car wash or buy a vacuum that is designed for that. I would recommend it to anyone who want to have this in their car just to do light duty, like I said, light duty, don't forget that. To pick after your kids, when they finish eating or whatever, this will do so. Aside from using this in your car to pick your remnants or whatever, or to blow things away, I think uh, another area I think this thing is going to shine a lot is if you are a fashion designer, I think this thing is going to be really, really useful. Honestly, I want to say that this device should be tailored towards fashion designer or tailoring. If you sew a lot, this may be, you know, even sent, all right? You can use this for your machine maintenance. If you're doing maintenance, this can be handy, all right? You have a vacuum to suck all those remnant thread that hide inside your machine. And if you need to blow anything away from your machine, you use the back to blow all those lengths away from your machine. Now, let me tell you my displays with this device. And the only displays that I have with this will be that the mount is too narrow. All right, even some of this grain, if they do not go like this, if they go this way, they get stuck. And the more they get stuck, you won't be able to suck anything anymore. So the opening is just too small for picking things like this. But if you if you are a tailor, you have no problem with the opening. It's more than enough for you. But if you're using it to pick up grains, 
the opening may be too small for cereal and coal, okay? Even though it's still stuck then, but a couple of the cereal get stuck. If you're interested in picking one of these up, you'll be looking at around 40 US dollars, depending on where you are buying it. You can check this on Amazon. If you're a Costco member, again, you're going to save buying this from Costco. Since that's everything about this vacuum cleaner and blower, that brings me to the end of this video. If you find value in this video, please do like this video and share it. If you're here to be a subscriber, please do subscribe to this channel. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.